You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a fan favorite, Lynn Smith. Good hey, to Lynn. see you. How are you? Good to see you Excellent again. Excellent. Haven't things. seen you in a while, but we're, it's spring is sprung. At least this time I don't have to shovel my way in. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, can you remember the snow a year ago? Oh, I'm just happy we had nice warm weather last couple of days. I know. We haven't had flash floods here or any of that kind of stuff. I don't want to jinx it. And I don't want to say Absolutely. too much. Absolutely. Not a um, word. Spring is here, and we have a friend here, right? Spring is here, and our thoughts turn to the annual Easter egg hunt that the Keith Park Neighborhood Association puts on every year. You know, the holiday is early again this year. Mm -hmm. It's in March, so we're not going to push our luck, and we're going to do it inside this year, okay. uh, Mark. So I think I gave you the date. It's Saturday, the 26th of March. Mm -hmm. That's the day before Easter. Okay. And we open the doors of the Fruit Gym at 1 o'clock. Now, you know we're... First Evangelical Lutheran Church is at 900 Main at the corner of East Nilsen. Right. The gym is right in back of it. It's technically 891 Montello right. Street. So we'll have it indoors just so we don't have mud to deal that with. That makes a lot of sense. And the hours are 1 to 2, right? 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. So it's for children up to age 12. Okay. It's free. Mm -hmm. We've put posters up in the community in English, Haitian Creole, and Cape Verdean Creole. Okay. So what will happen is when you come with your child, there'll be a welcome desk to tell you where to go. First thing is we have an arts and crafts table, mm -hmm. so they'll be able to make a bunny face or they'll be able to make a little yellow chick in the wings of the children's hands okay, cool. that they um, trace and cut out. From there, you go over to the egg and spoon race, so you get a spoon and an egg and you have to go down the chute mm -hmm. and put your egg right in the basket. And when you do that, you get your basket and we have about 600 plastic eggs spread out over the whole gym floor. Mm -hmm. And the trick is there's five different colors, so you have to get one of each color. And when you fill your basket with one of each color, then you go over and you say hello to the Easter Bunny and get your free photo with the Easter Bunny. Mm -hmm. And then on the way out, you get a little bag of Easter treats. So you got to work for those treats. You have to work for the treats. You work off the calories. We're very, very lucky in that Ocean Spray has donated some craisins, some mm -hmm. little package of craisins. And you know our friends at Vicente's Tropical Market are always so good. They have given us some Capri Suns to put into it. Um, the new developer that's doing the CVS that's coming into Campello, mm -hmm. Mr. Kaufman, Michael Kaufman, has helped us out. So we have Hershey's Kishes and what are those candy necklaces okay, that the cool. kids like. And then, you know, folks have given us individual anonymous donations um, as well. So <laughs> we're having our bunny bag filling uh, party at my house pretty soon mm -hmm. to get them all filled up and tied up and ready to go. So that's just the first of many things because once you hit spring, you guys are off on a roll. We are. You know, our neighborhood associations, what we do is we pick a green space as our town green. Mm -hmm. And we have events in it not only to have fun but also to get families out, to get to know one another, to create neighborly bonds, to be able to feel comfortable with each other so that when an issue comes up in a community, we come together and we talk about it as a community. Mm -hmm. So the George E. Keith Park in Campello at the corner of Main and Plain and Keith Avenue mm -hmm. uh, is going to get a little facelift, a little community cleanup. Earth Day is April, I think, 23rd, okay. Mark. Yes. So that Sunday, April 24th from 9 to 11, mm -hmm. we're going to ask people if they'd like to come. You just bring a rake and bring a pair of gloves. We have the bags. We have all of the rest of the tools. It's a great way for kids to do something that's community centric and mm -hmm. doesn't take a lot of heavy lifting, sure. pick up the branches and that um, type of thing. And we have fun uh, doing it. Because you use that park during the summer for different events. That we do, and before. you know, we're so excited because thanks to Rob May and the city planning department, he applied for a state funded grant to spruce up the park. Mm -hmm. And so he got 231000 from the state mm. 
and there's going to be some matching funds that go with that. So we're going to be having a couple of public meetings to talk to folks. What would you like to see in the park? I went up to Haverhill and they have these great um, little benches for the kids to play on in their shape like shoes. Okay. And so do we want to do that to acknowledge the shoe industry in the area? Do we want to have historic signs telling the story of Keith and walkover shoes? Do we want to bring the fountain back? Do we want to bring a bandstand back? Mm -hmm. So we'll be having all of those conversations and we'll see what can fit into the, the funding. And you know, this is what the Neighborhood Association is so great when Rob May called me and said, can you get a little community support for this? We started a social media campaign. Sure did. Reboot Keith Park, 374 tweets, emails, and phone calls to the state saying we want to reboot Keith Park. So we're going to say thank you to the park, and Tim Carpenter and the Parks Department guys do such a great job. So we'll do a little pickup in Keith Park on Sunday the 24th of April. So March we have the Easter egg hunt. April we have the park clean up and then May we reclaimed that little plot of land on Frederick Douglass Avenue mm -hmm. where the um, Ardmore Hotel was it burned down in 73 remember last year we put those beautiful signs in sure honoring um, different freedom fighters from all over the world so on May 1st we're going to have what we're calling a plant and seed swap so the Garden Club will be there to answer um, questions. South Shore Gardening, Buy, Sell, and Trade will be there. Mm -hmm. We have free garden glo gloves giving away. And the bestest thing is Good Samaritan Medical Center is going to come and talk about sun safety, hydration, mm -hmm. how not to get heat stroke, okay. and to help people be protected from the sun, we're going to put a sun sail over the garden. Down oh. in Florida they do it. It's really just a piece of canvas like yeah, yeah. shaped like a trapezoid okay. and you put four posts in the ground and you stretch the canvas over it and of course it gives you shade uh, in, the, in the summer which we all need. The sun does not discriminate. Doesn't matter whether no. your skin is white or brown or black. You have to be very careful. So we're so grateful for Good Samaritan Medical Center. They do such great things in the community. A couple of weeks ago, they did the Heart Healthy yeah, exactly. uh, event. Uh, and the other thing that's exciting, I know you're involved with Rotary. Yeah. Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association was the one that started the little free library program. Right. We put four in last year, three more this year all are coming. Right. Well, we're going to be there for those two. We've been there awesome. for all of them. And we'll help you publicize it. Website, uh, phone number, when does your group meet, right. all of this. All of that stuff. So if you want to get a hold of the Keith Park Neighborhood Association, we're on Facebook, Keith Park Neighborhood Association. Website, kpnabrockton.weebly.com. Or you can just go on Facebook and look for Lynn Smith, and it's all connected. The Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association is on Facebook. Or you can go to Douglas with two S's, douglasbrockton.org. And if anybody wants to donate books to the little free libraries, plants to the garden, have any questions about the cleanups, you can call me directly, Lynn Smith, a likely story, 774 381-8050, so 774-381-8050. We're going to have a great year, and guess what? You're going to be the first to know the Friday night movies are coming back. Okay, we'll bring you back for that. Thanks, <laughs> Okay. Lynn. Thank you very Thanks. much. I appreciate all you do. Bye-bye. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.